It's been five months to the day since Howard County's first confirmed case of COVID-19. In that time, we have successfully flattened the curve, secured PPE, scaled up essential testing and contact tracing, and began allocating critical relief funds to both residents and businesses. Sadly, we've lost 98 of our residents, our neighbors, to this virus that continues to ravage the lives of so many people while wreaking havoc on our public health, our welfare, and our economy. Everyone has had to quickly adapt during this pandemic, whether you're a parent balancing work and childcare or small business owner trying to make sure that you can pay your employees. This pandemic has shown the cracks and ruptures in our society, but it has also reminded us of where we share common ground. All of us are trying to get by and move forward. I applaud those who are making sacrifices in the hopes that we will make an impact and save lives. And that's why we're here today, to recognize these small businesses who have provided jobs, value, and support for our community and ensure that they too are able to survive. Howard County received $57 million in federal relief funding from the CARES Act to support emergency expenses due to COVID-19. The majority of that funding was designated toward health-related expenses. However, we were able to allocate $5.7 million of relief funding grants to help our businesses with response and recovery due to this pandemic right now. Today, I would like to recognize the 203 Howard County businesses that have received our first round of HOCO Rise grants. And I also want to note that we have been an example. 45 days from our announcement of these grants, we had checks in the mail. And as we've seen the difficulties from the federal level, time is money. And I want to thank our Economic Development Authority and all of our partners for making sure that we could get the money out as quickly as possible. Over 80% of Howard County's businesses have fewer than 20 employees. And we are putting the limited resources in targeted sectors in hopes of helping some of those most impacted. Small businesses are foundational to our community and these industries have been some of the most disrupted by the unprecedented COVID-19 public health emergency. In our first round, these grants were targeted to locally owned storefront retail, restaurants, and farmers who have experienced significant financial loss caused directly or indirectly by the COVID-19 public health emergency. Unlike other local grant programs in our region, that have been based on a first come, first serve model for any businesses, where the demand dramatically exceeds the funds. Our Howard County grants have specific targets that are the smallest of the small Main Street type of businesses. There are 85 storefront retail, 44 farms, and 74 restaurants receiving funding in this first round of relief grants. Here at the spectacular Savage Mill, storefront retail grants were awarded to eight businesses. The shops at Savage Mill, a vibrant community of shops and artists, are a living example of how integral small businesses are to our local economy and frankly, our culture. We hope our residents and, business and visitors will continue to support 
and shop locally throughout this pandemic. Looking ahead to the next five months of our response and recovery, we must prepare for potential outbreaks and continue to support businesses as they safely reopen. As residents are able to safely return to their office or work, more and more families will need childcare. Additionally, as they travel, as travel was restricted to and fewer families chose to travel or opt out of long vacations, our hotel industry this summer will continue to face setbacks. Today, I'm proud to announce that we are expanding the HOCO Rise Business Relief Grants to both daycare establishments and hotels. These grants will support critical training, supplies, and infrastructure for these businesses to operate safely. Our Howard County Economic Development Authority is working directly with our Department of Community Resources and Services to contact over 400 certified in-home and center-based child care providers in our county to apply for a million dollars in grants. This is an important sector that's critical to supporting our workforce and working families. Our EDA is working closely with Visit Howard County to direct mail the grant application to the 48 accommodation providers in our county. Howard County has hosted 3.1 million visitors last year, attracted to our high quality arts, culture, and entertainment. And our hotel industry supported 1.3 million overnight visits in just 2019 alone. We need to ensure that as we look towards a sustained response and recovery from COVID-19, this critical industry and our business community continues to be supported. Like other sectors, we have opened the program too both of these sectors will now be eligible for a $2,500 grant. Here in Howard County and across Maryland, we've seen our data continue to trend in the right direction. But as we continue watching other communities around our country, it's clear how quickly that can change. Each day though, I continue to find hope in the small acts of kindness and the support that I see for others around our county. People are still looking out for one another, still looking out for their older neighbors and their vulnerable neighbors in their community. Friends and family are making masks of all sizes and wearing them to protect each other. Businesses are going out of their way to help free feed some of our frontline workers and provide jobs to their employees so they can put food on the table. And what continues to give me hope is that if we work together, we can defeat the worst of this virus and not only survive, but as a community, thrive. Thank you very much. The authority was just tremendously proud to be part of the HOCO Rise initiative and to be able to help provide this kind of support to the, uh, to the small business community. Like you said, within 45 days of the announcement of the funding, we had a program stood up, deployed, applications received and approved, and the first batch of checks were in the mail in record time. And that's a testament to the, to the entire team at, at EDA, and I'd like you to give them a big round of applause. 20 hardworking individuals, thank you. And it was, we knew resources were, were limited. And instead of big grants to the first few, we targeted specific industries that were particularly impacted so everybody could get a share of this funding. We were particularly proud of the minority participation of the grants. An average, an average of 50% of the awardees were woman-owned, minority-owned, or veteran businesses. I'm also very pleased to announce that we understand you may have been traveling, you may have been busy trying to get your businesses reopened. So 
for today, tomorrow, and Friday. We are reopening the application for those specific sectors that were originally targeted in round one, in addition to the childcare and hotel sectors. So there is a, still a few more days if you haven't been able to apply to get your application in and get it approved, and we will get that check out the door to you to help that small business community that we are so proud to support. Thank you so much. With this check, hopefully, we'll get to uh, year 30. We've been in business 29 years, and we hope to keep going, and this will really help. We appreciate the county's help and everything. We acknowledge uh, Art of Hair to Salon, we acknowledge and we appreciate uh, the funds that has been received from this grant. Um, July 1st, we celebrated 12 years here at Historic Savage Mill. And um, with this pandemic, uh, it caused us to make a little bit of changes in our services, but this also helped um, training for the stylists uh, to keep the guests and themselves safe. So we really appreciate the funds and thank you again. Well, we would love to thank Howard County. Being a resident and a business owner here, we have found Howard County to be our home. Um, thank you, Mr. Ball, Dr. Ball. <laughs> Calvin. <laughs> and our business will improve its safety. We're in a live auction on Sundays now. We've had to cut it down to once a week. But this will improve social distancing, signage, and other things that will help us to keep everybody safe. My name is Brandy Kroniger, and I've been here for over 10 years now. When I was preparing to start my business 10 years ago, you always go over the what ifs. Nobody ever planned for what if there was a pandemic. I do both makeup artistry, skincare, services, and sell retail. So a lot of this has had to change. I'm lucky to have kept my customers and, and they're actually supporting me through this, but at the same time, there were a lot of other changes that needed to be done. And with this money, this is going to help me to excel in doing that and hopefully get back to normal soon. It's been a quite a journey from a brown bag, cracker package, to making croissant and sourdough bread here at Rasik. It was a very difficult and challenging time to survive the shutdown. I am actually very thankful um, and grateful for all the help that Mill provided during that time for the additional marketing effort that we needed to let people know that we are here baking we took our brick and mortar to almost e-commerce. All our products are available through our website for pre-ordering and pickup, which enabled us to continue with the social distancing guideline and a safe pickup. Um, this additional helping hand will actually go towards the marketing effort that we are putting on day-to-day -day operation, just to let people know that we are here baking and come and support your small business. My name is Evan Cicero, and I am, again, with Skincessional Scent. We are truly honored to be the recipient of this grant, most especially during this global pandemic that we call COVID-19. We are truly, again, thankful. Thank you, Howard County, for supporting small businesses like Skincessional Scent. Again, thank you. We are truly appreciated. I'd just like to express my gratitude for uh, the, all the collaborators and HOCO Rise that made this possible. We're incredibly grateful for this gift. Thank you so very much. Um, uh, success in style and uh, our, so our retail and our mission has of course taken a big hit with this as all of you have. And things like this really buoy us back up. And I also would like to thank the mill for helping us to open up safely, very safely. It's been incredible and people are cooperating and all the signage everywhere, you can't miss it. So we are incredibly grateful that they're helping us with that because in order to open up fully, 
we need the support of our volunteers and they're not going to come back unless they know it's absolutely safe. So thank you so much. Hi, I'm Sue Airy with Sweet Cascades. Uh, our county executive, Calvin Ball, thank you so much uh, for keeping all of us safe during these past few months. And also uh, the economic development uh, group, you guys have just always been with us um, in the face of crisis and um, you always have our backs and thank you so much. Savage Mill is a historic property of national significance and a unique destination for visitors and customers in our region. One of the mill's most unique features is that it is home to an incredibly diverse group of more than 65 sole proprietor small businesses from specialty retail to studio artists to bakery to offices to antiques to interactive crafting classes to jewelry clock repair adventure course and banquet hall hair salon music studio and much more savage mill is the heart of small business in our own backyard it's true we employ hundreds and entertain thousands of visitors every year. We're a family with a unity of spirit and community. Around here, we like to say, we really only do as well as our businesses. This pandemic has been particularly catastrophic to the economy and to small businesses, as we know. Howard County, County Executive Ball and his staff have had to delicately balance their first concern for the health of its residents and the support they could offer us as small business. They did that by reaching out very early and often with communication and cooperation with business organizations and destinations and attractions like ours. They helped link available resources with need and weekly extensive Zoom calls, I know another one's coming, were followed by action the minute the CARES Act allowed for monetary assistance. We work closely with each of our tenants to assist them in the application for help from these grant programs as soon as they were announced by the Howard County Economic Development Authority. These grants have been a lifeline to our small businesses. And so, again, thanks to Dr. Ball, Jennifer Jones, EDA, EDA head Larry Tweel, Amanda from Tourism and Promotion, and thanks in particular to our CFO and my partner Donna Wilner for walking everyone through the applications, our marketing director Sarah Assang, our maintenance director Mike Foster, and our mill operations manager and communications expert and everything person you can imagine, Aaron Collier. This emergency is no, by no means over. In some ways, we may just be beginning a road to recovery. But with help and support like we're receiving, we will survive so we can thrive. Thank you. So again, thank you so much. Congratulations uh, again. I know it's been a challenging time for everyone in our community, including our small business community. You all are an example of perseverance, of resilience, and of working through in innovative, creative ways uh, through this difficult time. I also want to thank, uh, in addition to EDA, uh, Visit Howard County, our Chamber of Commerce, Leonardo McClarty is here. They have been strong partners to support our business community. Thank you, Leonardo. And please continue to invest in our small businesses. Come to Savage Mill, support as many small local businesses as you can. The vast majority of the dollars spent at our small businesses go right back into our community. And now more than ever, we need that investment of not only our dollars, but our hope. Thank you and have a blessed day.